Accessible voting on the ICX. Before voting session, confirm that the ATI controller is connected to the ICX and that the preferred accessible voting input device is plugged into the ATI. To begin a voting session, the voter will insert their activated voter card with the smart chip facing up. The voter card must remain in the reader during the voting session. Upon voter authentication, the ballot language selection screen appears with the Accessible Voting Mode switch. Touch the Accessible Voting Mode button. Allow the voter to select the language of their choice. The voter then selects the preferred Accessible Voting Device, ATI, Paddles, SIP and Puff, or Audio Visual Mode. Press the Cancel button to cancel the accessible voting session. During the voting session, instructions can be heard through the audio headset to assist in navigating the ICX ballot. Volume buttons at the top left allows adjustments to the volume level. The speech rate button at the top right allows adjustments for the voice speed. Press the green help bar at any time to repeat instructions. The privacy mode can be activated or deactivated in the heading menu bar. A black screen appears where the ballot contest area would be. The privacy mask can be enabled by pressing the privacy mask button. Privacy mode is not available in the audio visual mode. When all choices have been made and the voter is ready to print the ballot, the blank ballot paper issued is placed into the printer. Select print your ballot on the accessible device or in the ICX screen. The voted ballot will print automatically. Remove the voted ballot. Select Continue on the accessible device or in the ICX screen and remove the voter card. The voter will cast their ballot into the ICP tabulator. If using a secrecy sleeve, the voter will cast their ballot by feeding the ballot through the secrecy sleeve. Important, the ballot is not considered as cast until it is deposited into the ballot box.